यहाँ से शुरू करो वेल आई टॉक टू सिंगर यस्टरडे अनके and he mentioned me in the today's vlog his today's vlog that he uh, had a word with me and yeah it did inspire me to start uh, vlogging and he asked me a question during his during our conversation that uh, how difficult is it to build start up after getting married i said i am married yeah pretty early on conventional grounds but i think uh, th- that was the right time for me and i don't think you should compare it with you, with anybody I mean, you are the reference point of your life and uh, yeah that was the right time for me and it can be for you and it can be a few years later for you and he was supposed to get married uh, a year or uh, a year later on maybe so uh, i'm sorry i'm disclosing this information and i'm not supposed to i think <laughs> i don't know like uh, we'll have to take consent from aniket so uh, yes um, pretty much uh, all day went out in uh, discussing about uh, uh, finances with my spouse and uh, our behavior towards uh, being transparent about finances uh, i realized i was not that uh, uh, transparent with her as i was skeptical and i was keeping it for rainy days i was i was um, i was not um, you know open about sharing everything each and every detail about it mm. she is not very, that good with numbers as well so i thought maybe she will it will not help and uh, but but that was another story but i was not being transparent that kind of hurt her hurt her and that's when we had a really long conversation um, back and forth arguments and yeah so he asked me how difficult it is to build start up after getting married so these things um, are important as well to um, you know the arguments initial arguments are really important because that's how you get to know e- yourself and each other and the other person as well and their expectations and what you are probably lagging uh, what you can work on and that's uh, you know these things start uh, when you start resolving these things very early on it's become very easy for you to uh, and smooth for you to move later on uh, in life uh, with your partner you know after few you know once you get to know that these are their their preferences this is how you operate this is what uh, can be done this is um, what you can change this is what she can change it's this this is what where you can bring things to the middle middle ground so yeah it's a bit challenging you have to uh, keep challenging your um, you know programming your um, you know the way you think and uh, yeah so it it did uh, it does become a bit difficult uh, by uh, at times like these uh, to work to focus on work mm. when these things are you know uh, going on in your mind so i think i answered your question <laughs> so it is uh, uh, a task it is a challenge early on i think and once you get hold of each other once you get to know okay these things are but these things often casually comes uh, they come and go often times so you have to be present at that point of time otherwise uh, they they can pile up and really uh, do a good damage to your relationship so uh, you need to prioritize what's most important for you so at that point of time uh, for me uh, i think a relationship comes first so uh, so i try to prioritize that and in that case work sticks affects it so yeah that's it what i'm building i'm building retreat soul um, retreat soul is a platform where you can find all the wellness retreat centers across india hand picked by us um, uh, on a single platform without you uh, needing to spend hours and hours uh, around searching for the best retreat centers where you can have a uh, uh, a life experience of of ayurveda yoga and meditation to nourish your mind body and soul uh, that's why retreat soul so that's what i'm working on my mission is to take it uh, mainstream uh, take ayurveda and yoga to the mainstream in india make ayurveda specifically uh, mainstream uh, medicinal practice i think uh, 
it has been it has uh, you know taken a huge blow uh, ayurveda specifically because of many practices that 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 are going on going on there along with uh, that i think there are very good practices also going on but it's not very much known to people um, i am thinking of bringing it to mainstream uh, with the help of all these ayurveda genuine ayurveda practitioners and these retreat centers i have started from retreat centers where the world class uh, facilities are you know, provided to clients who visit there and they get to experience authentic ayurveda and yoga there um, people with uh, a lot of issues uh, do visit retreat centers for uh, a few days to to experience such authenticity of uh, medicinal practices ancient medicinal practices and not just medicinal practice they have specific treatments ayurvedic treatments for um, different kind of physical and mental issues um, that people go through um, uh, in these days quite often so i'm trying to bring that uh, you know um, in lives of people and um, hopefully uh, we'll bring it um, to mainstream uh, a few friends been asking about what i'm doing um, not in current really good state to reply and call and have conversation about this because um because because of many personal professional issues that that, that are going on mm. so i'm um, uh, currently exploring b2b prop um, b2b and uh, uh, corporate proposal i'm working on that with uh, one of the um, you know hr members of a company and hopefully uh, once a deal or two or first client we get to uh, you know sir will be able to scale it later on but it's going so and so not very uh, you know feeling very enthusiastic because uh, not been able to produce anything so far i'm loving the process but at the same time such uh, you know uh, road blocks to come not exactly road blocks these are also important for our lives uh, so these these do come up uh, and where you need to put, put work on the back seat and uh, you know take charge of your life and your people so yeah uh, hopefully i'll uh, update you all later on about uh, what's been going on i'll be uh, circulating a survey regarding what do you feel about wellness retreat centers how did you tackle with all the issues that you're facing with how effective do, did you find them and uh, how do you think uh, uh, we can help you uh, we are designing a proper proposal around this uh, but yeah we are currently in the process and hopefully after uh, you know getting that to completion we'll be able to uh, i'll be able to more uh, you know equip to update you about that and what what's going on uh, i've been thinking of uh, you know making a post on linkedin but uh, for writing on linkedin i really need uh, some me time and uh, and also i have been kind of lazy to to do that so i'll be uh, i'll be here yeah, posting it uh, i'll be i'll be posting a post on linkedin to update basically what i'm doing what why i'm doing uh, what is what's the thought process and uh, where i'm going to take it where i'm thinking of taking it so yeah uh, linkedin has become so much uh, you know full of nonsense that i don't like to open it mm, but yeah who cares like if people are there i need to uh, be there where people are uh, keeping aside what i feel and what i prefer to use and uh, yeah so let's see there are many things not very productive day in terms of work uh, but yeah uh, i'm i'm starting to work out i have started to work out for this was day 2 today and uh, very very mild not very intense not very severe just home workouts few push ups and squats and uh, surya namaskar mm. what else nothing else i mean uh, 
hopefully things will turn out to be um, great between me and my partner and uh, uh, professionally and personally both uh, i mean professionally with me i don't see working with him for very long to be honest um, professionally and personally with uh, aditi uh, my spouse i am uh, and things are i think i'm getting clear between us and transparent we uh, are getting to know each other better and yeah so that's how things are going on uh, struggling with a bit of sleep i think yeah i am i feel a bit sleepy during day hours so i am thinking of uh, how to cure that also i think i lack some knowledge about ayurveda so i will i will need to uh, you know regate assess so that i can be more uh, convict i have i have more conviction about the industry and so that i can that gets portrayed to the world through and through me so i think i'll need to more study about it and yeah so that thing i'm thinking of designing an ayurvedic health quotient kind of just like iq or eq uh, for that i have talked to an ayurvedic doctor and uh, i want to set up a meeting with him and really design it uh, now along with b2b and the survey i will have this quotient that you know, will determine how fit are you according to ayurveda and what do you need to do what changes do you need to make to uh, be fully fit as per ayurveda so yeah that's that's my day that's what i'm thinking of uh, let's hope to get something fruitful in coming few days i'm thinking of really starting to make um, i'm really thinking of cracking at least one or two uh, you know uh, uh, deals this by the by end of this month uh, so that um, this finance and cash crunch problem gets resolved because it's really uh, starting to getting getting in the nerves and it's not very good sign so yeah